Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime with Lorenzo. Our featured book today is... What is a Credit Card? Little Economists by Kelly Lee. Creatively read and adopted by Lorenzo. What is a Credit Card? Ava and Dad went to the supermarket. Hooray! Pineapple, $3 each. Watermelon, $4 each. Tomato, $1.99 per pound. They bought lots of yummy food. Eggs, milk, vegetables, yogurt, peanut butter, fish. Total, $20. At checkout, Dad took out a card and gave it to the cashier. Hmm? What did you give to the cashier, Daddy? Ava asked. I gave him my credit card, Dad answered. An actual credit card has other things printed on it, such as an expiration date and bank logo. Why? Ava asked. We have to pay for our food. I am using my credit card to pay for the food, Dad said. I could have used a $20 bill instead to pay for our food. Dad continued. What is a credit card, Daddy? Ava asked. When I use a credit card, I am borrowing money from a bank, Dad said. Hey bank, this is Dad's credit card. Can I borrow $20? Okay, sure. You need to pay me back next month. What's a bank? Ava asked. A bank is a safe place where people store their money. It has lots of money and lets you borrow it when you need it. But we have to pay it back, Dad explained. Because I used my credit card today to buy $20 worth of food, I will need to give $20 back to the bank next month, Dad continued. If I pay the bank late, I will also have to pay extra money. The extra money is called interest, Dad explained. Here is another way to explain what interest is, Dad said. Cousin Ben, may I borrow $5, Charlie? Charlie, hmm, I was planning to use that money to buy a beach ball. I will return the money to you next month, and I will give you $6 instead of $5. Oh, you will give me $1 in interest. Okay. Why do people use credit cards? Ava asked. It's easier to carry a credit card around. Coins and bills take up more space and are heavier, Dad explained. It also makes buying things a lot faster. I don't need to give change. I can just swipe the customer's credit card. Change. Ava buys a carton of milk. Milk costs $3. She gives the cashier $5, which is $2 more than the cost of milk. The cashier needs to give Ava $2 back. That $2 is change. What does credit mean? Ava asked. Let me explain credit by using your friends, Teddy and Eddie, as examples, Dad said. Teddy has good credit. He said he would return your airplane the next day, and he did. Dad continued, Hey Ava, may I please borrow your toy airplane? Sure, Teddy. When will you give it back? Tomorrow. A day later. Hey Ava, here's your airplane. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Sure thing. Thanks for returning it on time, Teddy. And Eddie has bad credit. He doesn't return what he borrows, continued Dad. Hey Ava, May I borrow a set of colored pencils, please? Sure. When will you give it back? Tomorrow. Sure. Here it is. Thank you, Ava. A day later. Hi, Eddie. Do you have my colored pencils? Oh, yeah. I forgot to bring them today. I will bring them tomorrow. Two days later. Hi, Eddie. Do you have my colored pencils? I forgot again. So sorry. I will bring them tomorrow. I promise. Mm. 
five days later. Eddie still hasn't returned my colored pencils. I will never let him borrow anything from me again. Cool, now I know what a credit card is, said Ava. We can use a credit card to buy things, but we have to pay the bank its money back on time so that we have good credit like Teddy. That's right, great job Ava, Dad cheered. Paying by credit card is like paying with paper bills. It's real money, so I must use it responsibly. Dear parent, grandparent, or caregiver, Congratulations on giving your child a head start on their money management journey. Here are some tips to improve their understanding of credit cards. Show your child your credit cards. Point out the information on each card. Your name, card number, expiration date, bank name, etc. Point out the process to your child when you are buying things using a credit card in stores and online. Later, show your child the corresponding transactions on your credit card statement. Remind your child that paying by credit card is like paying with paper bills. It's real money, so it must be used responsibly. For any questions, suggestions, or any other finance topics, you can email kelly at econforkids.com. The website is www.econforkids.com. Why I love this book. I love this book because it's like going on a fun adventure with Ava and her dad while learning cool stuff about money. It's not boring like some other books about grown-up stuff. This one makes it easy to understand what credit cards are and why they're important. Plus, it's got cute drawings that make the story relatable to kids like me. How this book can help kids. This book is super helpful because it teaches us about financial literacy in simple terms that make it easy to understand. Like now, I know what a credit card is and how it works. And it's not just about credit cards, it's about being responsible with money too. Learning this stuff now will help me when I'm older and have to manage my own money. Plus, it's cool that it gives tips for parents so they can teach us even more at home. Knowledge Check 1. What is a credit card? A card you use to play games? A card you borrow money from a bank to buy things? Or a card you use to unlock secret doors? The answer is B. A card you borrow money from a bank to buy things. 2. Where do people store their money? Under their bed? In a bank? Or in a treasure chest? The answer is B. In a bank. 3. What happens if you pay the bank late? They give you extra money? They charge you extra money? Or they give you a high five? The answer is B. They charge you extra money. 4. Describe the difference between good credit and bad credit. A, B, or C. The answer is A. Good credit is when you pay back what you borrowed. Bad credit is when you forget. 5. Why is it important to use credit cards responsibly? So you can buy lots of toys, so you don't have to carry around lots of coins? Or C. So you don't get into debt and can buy important things when you're older? The answer is C. So you don't get into debt and can buy important things when you're older. Great job! Big thanks to Kelly Lee, creator of this awesome book. Kelly, thank you so much for sending us this book. It's been an absolute joy to read and adapt it for this video. We're grateful for the opportunity to share your wonderful work. Thank you once again. The end. Please subscribe for more fun and exciting read aloud videos on Storytime with Lorenzo. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, like and subscribe.